the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with and your spirit. spirit. Good morning and welcome. Amen. Sisters and brothers, as we unite today in worship and prayer, we recognize the sacrifice that has come to us in Jesus and how we too are to share that sacrifice to be merciful as God is merciful. And so as we gather this day, we pray the mercy of our God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus, you are light and salvation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Praise to you, Christ Jesus, for you have redeemed the world by your cross and resurrection. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. mercy. And praise to you, Lord Jesus, you are the healing of all the nations. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Almighty God, have mercy upon us, forgive us of our sins, and lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that we may become, they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Book of Kings. Jeroboam thought to himself, The kingdom will return to David's house. If now this people go up to offer sacrifices in the temple of the Lord in Jerusalem, the hearts of this people will return to their master, Rehoboam, king of Judah, and they will kill me. After taking counsel, the king made two calves of gold and said to the people, You have been going up to Jerusalem long enough. Here is your God, O Israel, who brought you up from the land of Egypt. And he put one in Bethel, the other in Dan. This led to sin, because the people frequented those calves in Bethel and in Dan. He also built temples on the high places and made priests from among the people who were now Levites. Jeroboam established a feast in the eighth month, on the fifteenth day of the month, to duplicate in Bethel the pilgrimage feast of Judah, with sacrifices to the calves he had made. And he stationed in Bethel priests of the high places he had built. Jeroboam did not give up his evil ways after this, but again made priests for the high places from among the common people. Whoever desired it was consecrated and became a priest of the high places. This was a sin on the part of the house of Jeroboam, for which it was to be cut off and destroyed from the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor the people. We have sinned, we and our fathers. We have committed crimes. We have done wrong. Our fathers in Egypt considered not your wonders. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They made a calf in Horeb and adored a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bull. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people.
those days when there again was a great crowd without anything to eat, Jesus summoned the disciples and said, My heart is moved with compassion for the crowd, because they have been with me for these three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them away hungry to their homes, they will collapse on the way. And some of them have come from a great distance. His disciples answered him, when can any, Where can anyone get enough food to eat to satisfy them in this deserted place? Still, he asked them, how many loaves do you have? They replied, seven. He ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground. Then, taking seven loaves, he gave thanks, broke them, gave them to his disciples to distribute, and they distributed them to the crowd. They also had a few fish. He sent the blessing over them and ordered them to distribute them also. They ate and were satisfied. They picked up the fragments left over, seven baskets, there were about five, uh, 4,000 people. He dismissed the crowd and got into the boat with his disciples and came to the land of Galilee, the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. As we've been listening to the Book of Kings, there are so many different uh, levels or directions that it may take us, but one thing that we hear about today is about Jeroboam and Rehoboam. And Jeroboam is a um, kind of a counterfeit king and agitator within the kingdom. And he's trying to establish a secessionist, secessionist government. You know, we hear about this probably in our own time and place, about people wanting to recede, secede from the United States and kind of create their own state and become that. It's kind of a similar dynamic taking place um, politically, but also religiously. And if you listen to what's happening, he's trying to set up different shrines opposed to the shrine of Judah, in some ways to lure the people and into different temples and that they can worship there and continue to do their sacrifices. And so he erects temples, shrines, altars to calves and says, here is your God of whom we worship. He establishes a new priesthood that too will somehow create a new form of religion that will somehow be faithful to him and this new form of government or political entity. And this is more than idolatry. It's about faking or counterfeiting the activity of God in some ways to serve them or their entity. And it's a kind of scary, scary proposition. And Jeroboam is kind of behind all this trying to find a way that he can maneuver for himself that sense of power. And why I think there's a dire consequence here, more than just the establishment of a different form of religion or priests or idolatry, is that he is trying to take over the authentic way people worship before God. That is, to truly allow the sacrifice of God or our sacrifices to bring ourselves to the sense of unity and closeness with God. And that's what is the trouble here. You can't fake that. It has to be real. It has to be authentic. True worship has to come from our hearts. And it has to weigh a moral level way of affecting our lives, but also how we live and how we give ourselves to one another. Today's gospel reading has one way of maybe indicating that for us as Christian people, you know, what that really means, especially for us as Roman Catholics who believe in sacrifice or recognize that many times through our celebration of the Eucharist. We hear the story of the feeding of the thousands from Mark's version. And what we hear very simply in that passage is a way that evokes for us this understanding that Jesus took bread or fish, recognized the gift that it was, blessed it, broke it, and gave it. That is authentic worship, if you will. Something that is given to us by God that we somehow receive, that we can bless, thank God for, break, break open ourselves to give, and to share with one another that we are fulfilled, and God fulfills us. This is the sacrificial offering, if you will, or how we try to emulate that in our own lives, how we break, it open, break open our hearts. 
to allow the goodness of God to be filled in us and then to share that with the rest of the world. You know, I know in the next coming days we celebrate Valentine's Day. And I have to say this because it's maybe part of our tradition, but you know, Valentine's Day is based on the saint, Saint Valentine, who happened was happened to be a priest. And one of the things why it was conveyed or more or less became a kind of a festival, if you will, was that he wrote love letters to his community to remind them what the love of God can look like within people. And I think in some ways that, you know, even though we don't celebrate the actual feast, but maybe for us as Christians living in this very difficult time, you know, maybe we're forgetting something about our own nature. That is, what the love of God within a Christian community can do for us. I find myself sometimes reflecting that during, not just during this pandemic, but maybe through the past 20 some years, we've lost an authenticity to the love of God and our own sacrifices that makes us an entity of God's loving people. And in some ways, we need to maybe rekindle that gift of the Spirit that loves, allows us to share more authentically with one another, that we too may be a community bound by the love of God and serving one another through that, through that way. Together let us humbly draw near to the throne of heaven, offering our petitions to our God and King. We pray for Pope Francis and all who serve the church. May the Lord strengthen them and the mission, bringing the light of Christ to a weary world. We pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, may the Prince of Peace guide them in pursuing reconciliation and understanding in these times of conflict. We pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those recovering from addiction, may God grant them strength and healing. We pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our young people in this faith community, for the young members of this community who will receive the sacrament of reconciliation for the first time, may the Holy Spirit provide encouragement and support they seek, and guidance and counsel by their parents. We pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick and homebound, for all those who rely on our prayers, our care, and our continual guidance and support, may they find healing and health. We pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace and the removal of conflict and domination in Eastern Europe, we pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, for those who we mourn and grieve, may they come to share in the fullness of the life of the risen Christ. And we pray for the, the parishioners of St. Zachary Parish. We pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, source of every grace and blessing, hear our petitions and answer them according to your will. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, and for your goodness we have this bread to offer, which the earth has given in human hands and made. Let it become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, and through your goodness we have this wine to offer, food of the vine and work of human hand. Let it become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that our offerings, our prayers of thanksgiving, and all that we come to offer in sacrifice may be acceptable to God's goodness. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands, for the praise and glory of God's name, for our 
Christ, the Lord, and good of all his holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, transforming them into the sacrament of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. 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 Lift up your hearts. Amen. 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 Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right. 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 It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word from whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and our Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gain for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and the saints, we declare your glory, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are our Lord, Lord, your glory. Host on in our hearts, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, a font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and after giving thanks to you, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, poured out for you and the many, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly, we pray that by partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, the clergy, religious, and all your faith-filled people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all those who have died in your mercy, and all those who have died alone. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Apostles and the Martyrs, Saint Zachary, our patron, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Sisters and brothers, united with one another through the bond of faith that we have received, and also the spirit that fulfills and sustains us in Jesus, we make our way in pilgrim way through the journey of the fullness of God's kingdom. And so, with hope and faith, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us 
our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all fear and anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, and the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your friends and followers, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on our faith. And grant us the peace, the unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us share with each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, Jesus, who is our hope and salvation, bless and recall and partake in the banquet of our God. Lord, I am not worthy that you should have done my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Amen. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. God, you have will that we be partakers in the one bread and the one cup. Grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of this world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. 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 May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Sisters and brothers, let us continue to walk in the light of Christ. Thanks be to God. Have a good and wonderful rest of the day. You too, Father.